Hey there everybody, welcome to Mugs Attacks, Tech Made Simple. Uh, this is Mugs going in. Um, today I'm going to be uh, doing a C++ function um, that calculates an area of shapes. So um, as you can see here in code blocks, I already have uh, things that I have to output. So I have C out calculate area uh, see how to calculate area of cycle area of rectangle area of triangle so I, I put these things here just to remember uh, what I want to output here as I'm going with the code so let's get on and start and since you know this is where we have to write our functions just like writing classes we write them up here or you can choose to write your functions down here you can write them down here and then make a function prototype up here i will show you after doing this code uh, at the end of this code i hope i do remember that so let's start uh, i'm going to start with um i'll start by having uh, a function so my functions are just going to be the same but then their parameters will not be the same and uh, let me just say their functions will not be the same okay let's see so i'm going to have void as you know uh, void doesn't it's a um, data type that, that that doesn't return anything so let me have um, all my function as area i'll have the first one here i have to put my parameter it's not like a class where you have to quickly uh open these curly brackets and do the, all the coding in here but also here we need the coding in there but uh here i will i must have uh brackets for my parameters so my first parameter let me make it float r this is the radius uh for the circle okay then from here let me have uh, some let me just copy and paste these other functions down here so if you can see functions you do not have to put uh semicolons at the end of them it's not, it's not like a class uh so there's a difference there so as you can see i have three functions now already let me format this style okay already code is fine um uh, from here i'm going to since you know that this is an area for this is a function for the for a circle here let's make it a function for for our rectangle so you know that a rectangle doesn't have a radius so let me have float l and float float l for my length and float uh breadth which is b so this is going to be for my breadth as you know a rectangle we have to we need a um, length and breadth to have the area and also you must note how i'm uh how i am separating these parameters in my inside my uh, these brackets uh, it's commas not semicolon not it's not like in loops so uh let's continue uh also with the last area this is for my rectangle rectangle we need the height we need the base so also need to float uh, uh let me say height the base since we have b already let me just name this s uh since i have okay and we need one side of the rect of the uh, triangle so let's simply name this e so i'm not going to go through why uh we need length and breadth why we need radius why we need height base and the uh, on one side of the triangle because those are basic maths from high school so you do all all i'm 100 sure all of you do know that so let me come to my circle here and say enter the radius of your circle and then obviously the user will have to be prompted and enter the radius which is r we'll come do the same for these other ones let's just copy and paste to make things first so we just have to change this uh, enter the radius enter the length then here we'll have to change this to l and enter the radius of your circle also this has to be changed to 
enter the um, no this is the length the first one is the length and the second one is the breadth uh, enter the breadth to the rectangle to the triangle now also do the same for the triangle uh, change this now we can continue um, since we have everything that we need in functions but i think there's some problems here let's delete this and this um, also this and this and this and this and we left with those there we go so we can continue we can come here and give our area a function since you know that and i'm 100 sure that you know that uh, an area of a circle is uh, calculated um, using pi also there's pi included in calculating the area of a circle the area of a circle is and to this to this uh now it's the calculations 3.14 since you know that pi is 3.14 let's just round it to 2 3.14 and then uh, it will have to be multiplied by you know how we multiply in c plus plus let's put this in brackets r multiplied by r you know that the area of a circle is calculated by pi radius squared so here we have uh, it's just going to output that the area of your circle is and then it will say 3.14 multiplied by the r given here multiplied by the r given here so uh, let's go to the rectangle now paste it here and then we'll have to say the area of your uh, rectangle is and then as you know for the rectangle uh, we just need two sides we just have to multiply the two sides uh, unless if i'm wrong you will correct me so it's going to be length multiplied by breadth so again we will continue and go to the one of um triangle be h multiplied by s multiplied by e so there we go we will have the area of our triangle here okay no since okay since we have um our code like this i think i can test i can build this and check if there are no errors therefore we don't have errors i can try and run it calculate the area uh, calculation of area so here there's nothing you can do here so the code hasn't gotten permission to can um, prompt the user to uh, select which area they want to calculate here so let's get on that so here in our int main we will also need um, variables which are going to help this so um, i'm just gonna uh, name these things the same uh, name these variables the same as uh, in our functions is r l b h s e uh, so r l b h s e here you know that we can separate these ones with commas there's no problem so also we also we need our another variable which is going to be uh, our choice uh, it's going to be in a form of number so let's just make it choice int and let's just make it an integer so here uh, I prefer using a switch statement uh, switch is there it's similar to if but then I prefer using switch because it's going to be easier here uh, let me say for me it's going to be easier so I'm going to use switch so I'm going to use switch no switch uh, we write it like this uh, we must have a case let me say case one uh, then have time colon and then uh, on your case one you will have to choose uh, what's what is to be outputted here so you have to write the name of your function which is area and you'll have to put a parameter so this parameter automatically um nope i think i did wrong things uh so if you can check here on this side uh, this thing is showing you this one is linked to which which this one is linked to which but then i don't think it does matter because all the names are the same you can just select any as long as inside of your parameter uh, it shows that uh, you have only one only one um 
uh, 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 parameter so automatically it will uh, select uh, from these functions that um, which one has one parameter here it will check this uh, this the first one has one parameter it will automatically run it because it runs from top to bottom it will, it will automatically run it but then when it checks this one obviously it won't run them because they have two parameters this one has three parameters so uh, we can come this side uh, area and then uh, we must break on switch you know that and then also we have case two colon then area of uh, we must have area of length and breadth now which is uh, l by b here also you separate by commas here also you will have to separate all these things by commas uh let me confirm it's l by b it's l and b yes and here it's h s e so we must have semicolon uh break again semicolon and then uh case three we must have a uh, area of this is the area of triangle which is um h s e then semicolon and come below and break and make a default one so that if there's nothing matching to any of this uh, it should automatically go to the default so so let's make our default uh, to communicate with the user to tell them that you have entered a wrong choice So that's how it is let me try and build my program and check for errors thanks no errors wow this day some um, running programs with no errors that's nice uh, so calculation of area uh, blah 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 you've entered the wrong choice so it's just outputting everything it's just outputting everything there's uh, it's not giving me any chance to choose so um, let me see what's wrong with my code uh okay i've left i've left i've left prompting a user here see out uh okay see out enter your choice we just even created a variable choice but we didn't do anything with it see in that's why it was even giving us warnings that there were warnings uh, just didn't mention it uh here you can see there are some warnings it's even showing seven warnings uh, so let's check what happens if i say see in and say choice uh, build okay i still have six warnings uh, but let me run and see what happens so it's asking me to enter a choice area of circle enter the radius of your circle so it's asking me for a radius of my circle let me say five now the area of my circle is 78.5 so let's try for number two which is area of rectangle enter the length of your rectangle let me say four enter the breadth of your rectangle let me say seven uh, the area of your rectangle is 28 so last one for the triangle uh, enter height of your triangle Oh, okay since i promised that um i will show you how to use function prototype here so i will quickly uh, cut all my functions and paste them under the main function and here i will quickly uh, copy this 
paste copy this and paste and copy the last function prototype so if we have all these function prototypes here remember we must close them by semicolon if we have them up here just build we run it's the same thing it's going to do the same thing again so um, enter your choice you enter three or two uh what 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 and then you are in uh it's 20 so um, there you go thank you for tuning in to my session everybody uh this is bugs uh going out uh please keep on watching keep on uh liking sharing the link uh and subscribe and like for more things